morning, Narika. Thank you for joining the Canham audience, Canham Ed Talk Australia, uh, to talk about your experience as an international student from the beautiful city of Perth. So, Narika, first question for you, what country and city are you from? I'm from New Delhi, India. And what are you studying um, in Perth, Western Australia? I'm completing my Master's of International Relations and International Law at UWA. And so far, it has been a great experience. Oh, that's excellent to hear. And going to Perth, what study opportunities have you had as an international student that maybe you would not have had back in your home country? For me, it was so different because as an international student, I was expecting to just make a few friends, have a new life, like a basic dream that every international student has. But then since I arrived here, I had good connections with Study Perth. I started working there, became a, a international student ambassador. And then through them, I was able to meet so many people just like yourself and then make new connections and actually enter into a professional world before actually graduating. So that was a good opportunity, I think. That's it. And so what are the main tasks that a student ambassador has to study Perth? What are the things that you do? So we had like different uh, tasks and projects. Like for some, we had to do social media content creation. We also had the opportunity to meet delegates from different parts of the world if there's any. I was also fortunate enough to meet uh, the uh, Premier Ma Mark McGowan earlier, just before he resigned. So it was just like an experience you might not get as you're not exposed to something in at or on an international scale. But then with this kind of experience and meeting so many people and diplomats from different parts of the world again, it gives you a good hands-on experience of how a professional world looks like. Excellent. As a Study Perth ambassador, how long is your role with Study Perth as a student ambassador? It's one year, but then you can apply again. But then again, it's... It's just one year for the start of this. Okay. So what your, my final question to you is, um, what do you love about Perth? And um, what advice would you give a student from India who's coming to study in Australia? What are your key tips as an international student now that you've had time in Australia? This is my favorite question. My The trickiest question for me would be, what are the barriers? Because Honestly, Touchwood, I've never faced any barrier as such. But then what I love about Perth, it's literally everything. I've got the opportunities, I've got a good place to live, the environment is so good, the weather is so good here. My advice for all the new international students would be, they need to accept all the opportunities and challenges. Because if they don't accept the challenges, it might not teach you what it was supposed to. So for me, I've always kept my opinions open, like, come what it be, I will just do what it requires me to do. So that's what I've done so far. And then I think it has worked out well. Mm -hmm. You study with students from, I imagine, many nationalities. Has that also expanded um, your way of thinking and getting involved in other cultures? Exactly, 100% because I study with, like in my course specifically because it's so domestic oriented. There are people from who are domestic students, but then there are also international students. In my first lecture, I was amazed to see that there was not even one Indian student. And today I'm able to build so many relationships with people from all around the world and not just India. And I think that's what we all come from with that kind of dream that we want to make new friends from different backgrounds, different cultures, learn about them. So I think that's a good thing. I agree with you. I think that's one of the beautiful things about studying in Australia is you're going to meet Australian students, but you're going to meet students from all corners of the globe because we are such a multicultural society that every culture and every nationality is accepted by um, Australians. I think we're very friendly and we embrace um, any new culture that, that comes in to Australia. Yeah. So you've never faced yeah. any of those challenges of being an Indian student in Australia? No, literally. I mean, I've, I've seen some people, definitely life is all not blossoms and gloomy and everything. But then for me, I think once you start accepting 
like you have to stay here because i come from new delhi which is crowded which is super crowded but then here it's peaceful again i would not call it isolating anymore because there are too many students and like too many people coming here at the moment it's definitely not isolating but then i think it's just the experience one is accepting and like taking from it so that's what it is well thank you for joining us today and giving your advice of what a student needs to do when they come to australia and um you do a wonderful role um in study perth i've met you on many occasions <laughs> as an ambassador so thank you for joining us today and i hope that your words inspire students to consider study perth or perth or west australia as a destination of choice because it's a beautiful city very modern very clean not crowded and great yes. opportunities um for students so thank you very much narika and have a wonderful day in your beautiful city of perth thank you so much fendi thank you so much for having me here